In this video tutorial, we will learn what is Google Site Kit and how you can install it inside your WordPress website. Basically, Google Site Kit is a plugin which you can install inside your WordPress website and manage four things which are as follow Google Analytics, Google Search Console, AdSense, and Page Speed. These are the four items which you can manage inside your WordPress dashboard without going individually in each account. So it is very easy to look the analytics just inside your WordPress dashboard. Now let's see how you can install Google Site Kit inside your WordPress website. You need to search for Google site kit the following website is the official website for site kit you can click and now you can click install site kit the following link landed us on the wordpress download page you can either download this plugin and later on install on your WordPress website or the other option is just go inside your WordPress website, go to plugins, then click add new. Now you can search for the plugin site kit. The following plugin is the official plugin by Google. It has more than 1 million plus active installations. Click on install now. It may take some time to get installed. The plugin is installed. Now you can click activate to activate the plugin. Once the plugin is activated, you will see the following pop up. It says, Congratulations, the SiteKit plugin is now activated. You can click on Start Setup and it will take you on the following page where it says, Verify site ownership, allow your site to get access. Google account data setup search console so we will click sign in with Google now you can choose any of your Gmail account which has your Google Analytics account Google search account or AdSense so I will choose the following Click allow. Now it says you are verified owner of the following website. Now you need to allow so it can take the data from your account. It says congratulations, you successfully set up SiteKit. Now you can click go to my dashboard. Now on the following account, you can see we have four options as mentioned earlier. You can manage Google Search Console, AdSense, Google Analytics, PageSpeed inside, all in inside the, inside the WordPress dashboard. Now we have connected our Search Console in the following dashboard. And we can also connect all of these three services as well by clicking connect services. It's very easy.
Make sure you use a single Google account for all of these four services. So it will be easier for you to manage these accounts without any problem. I have already verified Google Search Console account and I have AirSense as well. I have Google Analytics and for page speed you just need to click connect service. It is connected and you can see the page speed analytics inside this account. Click allow. Now the page speed insights is also connected. While doing this process and connected and connecting these four services, you need to make sure to have a verified website with Google Search Console account. If you haven't verified your website, you can check out the following video to learn how you can verify your website first. After verification, you can go through this process with SiteKit without any problem. For AdSense, make sure you have a verified AdSense account. And same applies for Google Analytics. I recommend you use I recommend you use one single account for all of these four services. One single account means one single Gmail account. You can see I have connected two services Google Search Console and PageSpeed Insights. Down below here I can see the analytics from Google Search Console which which is showing me the popular keywords and down below here I can see the page speed when I will connect AdSense I can see my revenue here and same for applies for analytics I can see the analytics as well all of this you can see under site kit you don't need to go in each of these four accounts and it will be convenient for you to see all of these four things inside your wordpress please make sure to subscribe to check out more interesting values Please make sure to subscribe for more interesting videos related to website designing and the WordPress. Thanks for watching.